So I would like to entitle this video Building on the Work of Bill Othertone. Now Bill Othertone is another channel that you can watch where you will find truth. And Bill has had some good words to say about me and I have good words to say about him and his channel. But what I'd like to propose to all viewers, especially those who create videos, that we can build upon each other's work. And what do I mean by that? Well, if you can imagine the construction of a wall with bricks, and perhaps I lay a few bricks down on the ground, and you see those bricks, and you say, you know what, what I've got to say, I can build upon the channel that I just watched. So I wish to build upon the work that Bill Overtone has presented to us. And to do that, I'm going to take you to a master deceiver called Billy Graham. Now, I have done some videos, lots of videos on Billy Graham. They're scattered throughout my channels. Billy Graham is a masterful deceiver, and uh, I do believe his origins are from England and out of that Longines News Hour show. I have a video where I try to identify Billy Graham very early on uh, prior to becoming a quote successful evangelist but I'll leave that go for now and I'll try to just go ahead and take you through the steps of this whole idea of building upon one another's work so this comes from a crusade that was held I believe in 1993 the title of the sermon is, When the Chips Are Down, Can You Survive? And it's Billy Graham. He's going to talk to us about Daniel chapter 3. But before he gets there, he's going to mention a hoax liar in the hoax lie system. Listen in. Now at this time, Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. And he was the greatest of all the kings, probably, that ever lived. And he conquered Jerusalem. And he takes some Jewish captives among the young men, many of them in their middle or late teens. They were scientifically inclined. He takes them back to Babylon to train them to help him as he builds his empire. Very much like the Soviets and the Americans after World War II. They took German scientists. I remember one of them was Werner von Braun who made a great contribution to the American military power. And I remember sitting with uh, Werner von Braun not long before he died. We were at a banquet in Los Angeles at the Century Plaza Hotel. And my wife and I happened to be at the table with him and we'd known him quite a long time. And he told us how intellectually he had come to believe in Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior. Not just by faith alone, but he became convinced that there was a God and that drove him to study the Bible and the New Testament, and he came to know Christ as his Savior. Now, among the captives of Nebuchadnezzar, there were a number of top young Jewish men. Okay, so you should find it very curious that Billy Graham is friends with presidents, politicians, celebrities, scientists, and on and on the list goes. And almost every time Billy Graham is on the television, he will mention some type of an association with some other hoax liar. And they put the spotlight on each other. So Billy Graham is trying to establish credibility for this one called Werner von Braun. Now, 
that's where we go to Bill Other Tones channel. And you can find it right there. Bill Other Tone. And the video cited right below there is actually me. He's having an appreciation video for my work on one of my channels called War Backwards is Raw. War Backwards equals Raw. Those two channels I, I host, I run. And Bill is saying a nice word about me in that video. But we're going to come back to that here in just a minute. So what I want to do is take you to uh, the playlist that Bill has. And on the playlist you will see the Werner von Braun videos. So we're going to play this one where he initially discovers Hey man, this is a video from uh, the seaside. This is the beautiful Black Sea. This is a very short video. I'd like to show you something. I'd like you to take a look. Yeah, so take a look at this guy. I just seen this in a newspaper. Take a look at this guy. Which is Elvis's father. Does this guy look any familiar with Anyway, so see, yeah, sorry, does this guy look familiar to anyone you know? Let me show him again to you. Yeah, let me show him again to you, yeah. This guy, Elvis's father, man. Does this guy look familiar to you? It's just a hunch. I think this is Werner von Braun. So let me commend Bill. And anyone who gets a hunch, pursue it, because the hoax liars are notorious for their staged costume characters that they play. So, Bill, I really want to commend you for getting a hunch and pursuing it. This is just my, my speculation right now. So... Yeah, greetings from the seaside. I'll make another video on it by using the pig trick. Pig trick, yeah. Okay, so let's go to that other video that Bill did. Hello, hello, hey man. I'm just having fun with this pig tree of similarity meter. My starting point is this discussion which I had with the uh, this guy, which is my friend, uh, Plato's Key of Revisited. This was... By the way, that's... That's another one of my channels. <laughs> so... <laughs> I've got several names on the YouTube, and Bill is actually talking about me right now. <laughs> and I'd like to thank you, Bill, for classifying me as your friend. Yes, we all need to be friends. Because this whole crazy world is enough to drive all of us <laughs> crazy. We can keep each other sane. So yes, Bill, thank you for giving me the title friend. And the title goes back to you too, my friend Bill. And others, I'd like to encourage others that are watching this to do what I'm doing right now with other channels and let's get together Let's try our best to work together. We can respect one another's differences, respect one another's views. And the reason we need to respect each other is because of this. Nothing is 100% certain. Which means we have to have what's called in statistical analysis a margin of error. Yes, I acknowledge I have a margin of error on all my videos. Back to Bill. The question that I put in. Would you say 50% similarity on peak trip is a sign you are on the money? I'm asking as a general rule. Or is a higher percentage required? Yes, 50% is good. 
due to makeup and additional plastic pieces added to the face and hair pieces 50% is decent along with other clues 50% can be enough to nail to the wall some liar so this is my starting point 50% in peak trive is fine yeah okay this is my friend's opinion let us just compare uh, Werner von Braun yeah Werner von Braun with Vernon <laughs> Vernon Priestley yeah which is Elvis's father get it Werner von Vernon Vernon Brown Vernon Vern Werner von Brown Vernon you got Vernon <laughs> okay let us just use the the similarity uh, meter by Pictrieve. I have some pictures here prepared so I'll use this picture for Vernon Priestley and I'll use uh, this picture for Werner von Braun yeah and this is the happy family yeah with Elvis the military Elvis yeah so let us just start I'll start with uh, this picture here uh, upload image let me just take the one so Elvis is father yeah open detecting faces oh yeah this is our guy and here let's just put Mr. Uh, Werner let's just see what the similarity meter says detecting faces yeah Similarity, 66% if I'm not mistaken. Of course, I've done this before. 66% similarity. And what did uh, Plato Scale Revisited say? 50% is good enough to nail the liar to the wall. So, here we have 66%. Are they the same dude? You tell me, you do your additional studies because this is not really my piece of cake. Yeah. So let me interject a comment about the pick triive. It's not faultless. It is not perfect, but it is a pretty good instrument to use. And in my view, once you get above 50%, you're in the territory of nailing somebody to the wall as I wrote to Bill back as Plato's Cave Revisited. Uh, the higher the percentage, the better for your case that you wish to make. But I no longer worry about high percentages because a lot of times there can be some flaws in the photos themselves. And of course, in their hoax lie system, they use a lot of different things, prosthetics, changing of the hair, maybe uh, uh, doing some various work to confuse you about the one who's playing the role. So I don't worry too much about that. If you can see it for yourself with your own eye, then you've got a really wonderful case to make. And as soon as Bill showed that photograph when he was by the Black Sea, I saw it immediately. I didn't need the pick triev. However, uh, the pick triev gives you confidence, and he was correct. As soon as he picked up that uh, crumbled up newspaper and saw Elvis's father, it clicked in his mind. And you can do the same as what Bill did, and you can do the same as what I do. And you can, you can find many of these yourself. It's not that difficult. You just have to have keen discernment. And Bill has some keen discernment. Uh, and you tell me your opinion. And here, let me just upload again. Let me just use uh, Vernon von Priestley. <laughs> Vernon. Priestley, yeah, detecting your face. And here let me just use another picture for Vernon von Braun, which 
I didn't use before. Let me see what the, yeah, the meter says. Yeah, similarity. 55%, yeah, yeah, this. So what Bill did is really great, and I do that a lot too. Um, mix it up a little bit and see what your, what, your, what your results are. And if your results are consistently pretty high, above 50%, and in the 60% is really great, then you know you've got something, okay? This is interesting. Here we have 66%, here we have 55%. Pretty good though. I guess this was a younger Vernon. Vernon. <laughs> yeah, so you tell me your opinion. 55%, 66%. So I also like how Bill will show you the pun on the names. Because they're obligated in their hoax lie system to give you clues. And picking up on the clue of the name of the so called famous rocket scientists and also the name of Elvis's father gives you even further evidence that you're on the right track. Vernon Von Braun and Vernon Priestley, yeah. Definitely something here, if not the same guy, if you're not with uh, the actor based reality. Uh, idea, then you have to explain this by some type of uh, bloodlines or clones or something because they do seem to be. Well, just a word about bloodlines. Now, <laughs> not necessarily saying uh, about biologically they're related. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about spiritual bloodlines and it's from the seed of the serpent. Anyone who abides under the teaching of the devil and worships the devil, they are of the seed of the serpent. Now, the way out of that is to abide under the seed of the woman who will give birth to the Messiah the Lord Jesus Christ. So, bloodlines, yes, but I'm talking a little bit differently here, but building on the work, the fine work of Bill Otherton. So I'm gonna conclude this, and we're gonna to go to one other of his videos. So hang in there with me, and if it's a little too much for you to watch, you can bail out right now, because I know sometimes the watch time bothers people, and they want short videos, and I'm not really a short video type person from the same clan or something, yeah. Bye-bye, see ya. Have okay, so now we're gonna go to uh, this one here, and once again, when Bill does this appreciation video, he's actually speaking about me, all right? Because I have several channels, and this is the one I was uploading on at the time. Hello, this is... Uh an appreciation video for... Uh... Uh, let me say now, I'm gonna let it play because it's Bill's work <laughs> because he's he's giving a compliment to me so I'm gonna let it play but it's the latter half of this video that ties in with the Warner Von Braun so just hang in there and let Bill uh, go, go on with his words about me but the latter half he's going to tie it again together about Elvis's father and Werner von Braun. My friend, uh, work backwards is Ra, work backwards equals Ra, and uh, the other channels. Of course, I appreciate your work. I always did. Very nice work. Although we don't have to agree on everything, but your work is uh, fine work and uh, is adding value to truth. This is one of uh, his videos, uh, things that mutate, very, very good work, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and this is uh, the video that uh, he made, uh, uh, yeah, for shouting out my 
my channel let me see spotlight on Bill Alderton I really appreciate this and um, yeah what can I say thank you I appreciate this a lot yeah as you said we need each other in this uh, lonely path which is a path for truth because truth is not uh, offered by uh, so-called science by mainstream media by mainstream by mainstream stuff in general is not something you can find on mainstream and uh, to simplify it you have a lot of unanswered questions a lot of things that uh, don't make sense uh, and that's because the truth is escaping us yeah yeah this is a long talk thanks again uh, sir for this uh, for this incredible uh, uh, spotlight on video I appreciate it a lot and um, you you caught me by surprise <laughs> yeah and of course I appreciate you doing this for other channels um, for uh, for Mer, yeah, for uh, Dave J, of course, uh, and for uh, John Cheatham, South Africa, yeah. Um, so this is a very nice gesture. In the second part of this uh, appreciation video, I'd like to talk about uh, a video that uh, uh, yeah, something that I had uh, here. Let me show it to you on my channel uh, about uh, a video um, uh, yeah one of my videos with uh, with Vernon von Braun being um, Elvis's father Vernon Brisley you have uh, also a name similarity and I have a comment here that uh, I'd like to show you a comment by uh, uh, yeah you're not here excuse me excuse me this video entitled Elvis von Braun on the same subject about the user Amama Mia who said maybe he is Nelson Rockefeller and I said let's test this by the pig tree of yeah and I took the picture of um, of Nelson Rockefeller which was a vice president of the USA I didn't uh, know this anyway and I compared it with the Vernon Priestley picture and I have 66% similarity, man, which is uh, the same uh, similarity I had in my uh, Vernon Brown video, yeah, if you take a look. <laughs> so this is uh, my older video, yeah, where I had 66% uh, similarity between Vernon Priestley and Vernon Von Brown. So the same similarity I have with the picture.